So we hear in the Old Testament that things were done. Signs, miracles, like with Elijah, uh, working of miracles, raising the boy up from the dead. Um, you've heard about Abraham and his faith for people and for God. Uh, David, words of knowledge. But the thing is, with these, they came and left. They didn't stay with them. It wasn't there at all times. Here's what we need to realize is that when Jesus came and died on the cross for you, he gave you the Holy Spirit. All of this to stay with you forever until you live with him. So I'd like to have somebody come up. Madison, could you come up for a second? I know it's for the moment. But can you hold this for a second? I'm going to show you what a visual of what the gifts of God looks like. This is the word of wisdom. This is the word of knowledge. Okay. <laughs> okay, Vanna. <laughs> Faith. You'll see where I'm going with this. Gifts of healing. Working of miracles. Prophecy. Concerning of spirits. <laughs> Diverse kinds of tongues. Hmm. Interpretation of tongues. <laughs> These are the nine gifts of the Holy Spirit. Now, in John 14, 16, Jesus says, And I pray the Father, and he will give you another helper. We've all been saved. We have these gifts. But how come some of us don't see them in our lives? <laughs> he will give you another helper, that he may abide with you forever. In the Old Testament, they didn't abide with you forever. Holy Spirit is to abide with you forever. These gifts abide with you forever. The spirit of truth whom the world cannot receive because he neither sees it nor knows him. But you know him for he dwells in you and he will be with you. So this is the Holy Spirit, the baptism of the Holy Spirit. And when you ask God to receive the baptism of the Holy Spirit, would you like to receive the baptism of the Holy Spirit? Yeah. This is what happens to your gifts. Oh, wow. They start to flourish. Wow. You see them in your life. It expands, goes farther. So, I'd like to end with this. Acts 8, 17 says, Then they laid hands on them, and they received the spirit so I want to ask for anybody who wants to be active who wants to use these superpowers to go out working the kingdom of God to come up and we have my youth leaders we're gonna lay hands on you and you will receive the Holy Spirit baptism so no, 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 it's fine. It's okay. fine. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in. Yeah, Come on. Awesome. <laughs> you guys don't practice what you're saying. What? Or whatever. Uh -huh. That's what I was going to say. Do you want to receive the baptism of the Holy Spirit? Yes, I do. Sure. In the name of Jesus, you shall give. Mm. You shall give a new life, a new birth to the things you've already planted a seed in her, Lord. Say, in the name of Jesus, I receive the perfect gift that you've given me to speak in new tongues.
gifts of healing, gifts of prosperity, every single thing you have for me is mine in the name of Jesus. And that's okay. Don't how do I say that? What? How do I speak in tongues? You just let it go. Don't 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 think so it's not in your mind. Wow. Well, I'm